During the summer of 2023, we moved to a remote Scottish Hebridean island to be its only two residents along with our two pet sheep and pair of cats. These remote islands seem to retain an old-fashioned rhythm and a charm which we find encouraging us to live a more frugal and simple life, the way man was perhaps more intended to. We have an ancient stone cottage to restore, veggies to grow, livestock to build up, fish to catch and smoke, a boat to buy, and much more. Step back in time with us at the Scottish Isle. I'm going to start knocking all this off, which I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> We have such a problem with dust. As I'm sure you all, anyone that's ever done any restoration or refurbishment or construction in their home, you know, dust is constantly settling. Until everything's sealed up, it's just gonna be the same. I tear my hair out at it. Anyway, I'm gonna be making a bunch of mess. So as usual, it involves dust sheeting everything and uh, well, I might dust sheet myself actually, because my hair gets really dusty. If if I make some good progress on this, I mean it is slow going, but if I do make some good progress on it, I'm also going to sand off uh, the last of the fireplace if I've got time or inclination or any strength left in my arms. Jim left me some tools for the job. It's a plugging chisel. And he said, I have to go sideways at it uh, so that I'm not running the risk of digging any stones out of the wall that need to be there. <laughs> um, Scott's uh, editing the last episode at the minute. That's why he's not here. So um, I figured I may as well just start myself. Because, um, because of the way we're finishing this, with some of the stone being exposed, I don't need to absolutely dig it back uh, to like, to what it was before. I have, have a bit of an artistic eye about it. I can be clever about what I'm taking off so that I'm not doing it unnecessarily. Here we arms. Just keep going. The moment I stop, I probably won't be able to lift the teacup to my face, let alone do any more hammering.
when uh, when Jim was here, our stonemason, he said, one, he was using the chisel at one point, and he said, oh, do you smell that? That's the smell of the stone. And I know what he means. Sort of, kind of like, I guess, it, I guess it would be like a brimstone smell. Quite unique. It's not hard, it's just laborious, isn't it? I think DPD will deliver on a Sunday. Do you like my head scar? Yes. That's it, that's, the, that's as far as it goes. It's, it's like, at this point, you're just thinking to yourself, thank God we didn't do more. I wish we'd done less. By the way, we didn't use three bags. No. Because you did that up there too. That took a lot, didn't it? Anything to say? Nope. It's like hard labour, Victorian period. Breaking rocks. Except, please don't break them. <laughs> Kate just asked me if I wanted to say something about this. Yeah, I'm glad it's over. It is over, isn't it? No, because I'm going to do that stuff now. The last of that. And then I'm going to do the last of that and that is the end of the dust. You know, you've got dust on your nose despite wearing a mask. Yeah, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? <coughs> Weather's a bit squally today, isn't it? It's not very Just warm. as you think spring has sprung, as Frank said, it's uh, freezing cold again. It's cold. Scotland, isn't it? Uh, right, well... What's under your tarp? Here? Yeah. That's the uh, lime mortar and the cement. The cement for this, which we've now got the base for, so we can crack on with that sometime soon. But it's what's left of the lime mortar. But today, we're going to where well, we store the wood, put some wood away, uh, and move a bookcase. Ugh. Which is all very exciting, isn't it? No. The la the si no, the second to last big piece of furniture that's got to come down here. So we're nearly there. Your plants are still here. You haven't been eating yet. Good. The deer were here last night, so... Bye then. This is our store of unseasoned oak to get ahead of the game for next winter, which all needs to be shifted into the log store. I couldn't think of the name there. So it's, we've only got to move it from here to there, but how many tonnes of wood were, was...? I know, it's three, three cubic metres, so... Uh, well, anyway, a couple of tonnes of wood. And we've got to move it. I'll go put the kettle on, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Probably doing this wrong, you know. Oh, we're definitely doing it wrong.
tarp has come in very handy over the years, hasn't it? It has. Uh, if you can put it on the wall, and then we'll just stone it. Oh, okay. Would you like a, a elderflower tonic water? I know where there's loads. Yes. Would you like one? You can see that we've experienced some really high tides. In fact, last night's tide was the uh, highest that we've had. You can see by this uh, seaweed deposit, that's below me. The tide very rarely touches these, this wood that's been left down here. This is not our wood, do we? This was deposited here when we got here. But it's removed, it's, it nearly took all this last night. And uh, that needs to be moved because that piece that's there underneath those oars is what I'm going to use to replace the top of the workbench when I get round to it. But we're not at high tide yet, this has got to come a bit higher. But yesterday with the wind, it was uh, we actually had waves for the first time. It is very still now compared to last night. But people have said, you know, it looks all unsightly, all the seaweed, why don't you move it? <laughs> that would be a ridiculous task because, you know, we could move all this and then within two days it could all be back again. So, but yeah, this is a lot of seaweed. Well, we're immune to the smell of this. We don't smell it anymore. But I was also quite um, concerned because we haven't yet had chance to uh, process the oak. A massive oak tree got deposited just over there. I'm going to show you it in a second. And it's been there now for about two, two, three weeks. And it really needs chopping up and bringing over here because the high tide nearly took it back yesterday. So I'll take you over there now and we'll have a look at it. You see the oak trunk that's lying in the water there in the centre of the screen. That's been moved. And it's also been snapped by the tide last night. That used to come right the way across here. Over this uh, kind of old... I guess this is a, a loading point for boats at this point. It's heavily used. Um, so yeah, that used to come all the way across and the tide was so strong last night with the winds that it snapped it and the top half has gone. That needs sorting out and that needs sorting out like now. Well, obviously not now, but uh, tomorrow. At low tide, I've, I've got to cut that up and move it because there's just too much uh, firewood there. It's, it's completely dried out, but I'm not, so I'm not worried about it being in the sea for several hours every day. Won't take long for it to thoroughly dry out once it's uh, underneath the cabin. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame that we've left that too late, but you know, you snooze, you lose. God knows where the other part of it went. But hopefully it will still be here tomorrow. I'm just over from where I laid the heron to rest. Just walking by here, I noticed this stone. You see how it's lodged between the major root system of this huge. What is this? This is Scots pine. And look how it's split this rock. Power of trees. It's crushing it between its root system.
Ta-da! I'm so glad to have got this done because cleaning this stuff up is an absolute nightmare. And I think what we're going to have to do once... Our, so our plan is to finish this room and then start on the bedroom. Um, and I think probably what we'll want to do is somehow try and, oh, I don't know, move move the rooms around so that that room can just be empty and can just be a workroom so that we don't have to do the mammoth cleanup that we keep having to do since we're living here while we're um, if renovating this, if it. it. Took, if the work that we did took, um, what, two hours to get it all off, maybe a bit more, it takes double that and then some. So... You're finding it for days as well. Everything is dusty right the way throughout the house, regardless of what we do. So it would be nice to be able to just shut that off as a workroom until it's done. Well, I, I said to you, didn't I? I can't, I can't do this again. You were just, pulling your hair out. Just, just can't. It's the, it's the clean up. When you think the clean up takes no exaggeration, four to five hours to clean up. And that's after, with dust sheets down. Dust sheets down and with an industrial vacuum cleaner. So my advice to anybody that is going to be doing this to any similar kind of property in the future is employ someone to do it, go away on holiday and come back in two weeks when it's all finished. <laughs> With a nice tan. <laughs> um, this old radiator is going. I don't know if we've said this before, but um, we just need to... Uh, they don't work. They're connected to the stove, so they should heat. Um, they've been bled. There's water in them, but they don't heat up. Um, but we don't need them anyway because we've already installed, you know, the fireplaces in both rooms are working now. The house is completely damp free and dry. So, and these walls are great. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. They throw the heat out throughout the day and they warm up again at night. They're like a bank of heat. It's fantastic. So, yeah, get rid of the radiators in both rooms and um, cap them off. And I'm going to get... Uh, Get cracking with the lime, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. The all this obviously still needs um, cleaning up, and what we've also found is this is happening. So we've already cleaned this up once, but all all this is coming. I don't know what this is. I like that. I don't. I want it off. I want it gone. But this was the obviously the 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 wall that we did, uh, redid, and then had to take it all off. And there's still a little bit more left. That's right on the base of the walls. There's also down here, um, right along the, the bottom, I noticed it was damp down on the floor, yeah. down the concrete down there, um, on, the co on the concrete on the floor, but there's actually a little bit of a concrete skirt, almost like a skirting board that they've put right the way along here. I've bashed some of it out, but some, some more of it needs bashing out. Um, so when we come to lift the floor and do that, then we can we can do that um, because it, it, any concrete in this house has to go. It's well, just can... it's just like a sponge for for water. Now we've removed all that lime and also cleaned it all out from those trenches. You can see the concrete underneath now, can't you? Yeah. And, and it's all it's all kind of scraped up to the walls, isn't it? Onto the walls from the floor to seal it. But that ceiling is just sealing in all the damp and the moisture. I like this. Um, I've pointed this out before, but I think I know what it is now. Because um, it's such a large stone, I think it's probably... Um, it's 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 been a larger stone. I think it was probably part of the jetty at one point. It would have, it would have probably had a, a, a ring in it to, to tie up to, like a cleat. And it's... And it's broken, and they've decided to use it in the house. That's my uh, that's my feeling. I can't imagine that's for anything else round about here. It wouldn't be for a gatepost or anything like that, I don't think. So that's what I think that is. So we've now got four walls left to clean, which is the bedroom. Yeah, because the little middle room, it's just got plasterboard up and bare walls behind it. It doesn't have the lime render, the lime plaster that these walls had. Isn't she pretty? Well, like I said, I'm, I'm glad it's over. I am very glad it's over. I've been looking forward to the putting the render back on and then sealing it all up. Yeah, and painting it. Yep. Um, oh, and the, the ceiling, we've ordered the, the power cable that we need for the sander for the ceiling, so that can get done. Um, it's a good sander, so it shouldn't take too long. Geese are spending more and more time 
uh, close to the house, which is good because they're getting used to us. They're still, as soon as we come out, they still like get a bit peeved off. But um, hopefully, I want to get to the point where we can feed them. Well, we got a delivery by uh, sea last night. See how high the tide has been the last couple of days. This is the highest it's ever been. It's mad. What's this then? Oh, it's one of them. Oh no. Someone's missing their the BS7158-2001 Grade A OP10. Get it on eBay. Well, someone's having a really bad morning. Yeah, we've, we, we've, got, we've got the code, so we know exactly what it is and we can flog it. Where's my hollow tube? I left it right there. Oh, it's windy. Well, I'm going up the hill now, so I just want everyone to know, I'm not leaving it there. I will be collecting it. Don't panic, everyone. Yeah, Stand down. I will be picking it up and we're going to repurpose it and we're going to turn it into... Um. Answers on a postcard. A Land Rover. <laughs> oh, can I just add something while I'm here because it's just come to mind? Uh, what's funnier? A ballistic missile or a fuel tank? A fuel tank. You think a fuel tank is funnier than a ballistic missile? Yeah. So when you see something in, a, in an antiques yard that you know is a fuel tank, yeah, but you call it a ballistic missile for comedic purposes, you think I should have called it fuel tank? Yeah. I know it's a bloody fuel tank! <laughs> Boat shed. Boat shed. Up at the buyer. Boat house. Boat house. Okay. The water. This, this is the boat shed. This because it's a shed with a boat in it. Well, I, I know that, but it's just I don't know what we were calling it on the channel, and a no, no, numerous people have mentioned what is this structure. So it's the boat shed. Oh, we're, we're, we're here to get the last bookcase. I expected like more of a hurrah from you or Well maybe they all went hooray at home. Nice bookcase this. I like that it's got a saggy bit in the middle. Hey, I'm going backwards. This never works. I think my arms must be tired from getting all that plaster off because this appears to be really heavy. Uh, yeah, turn that way. We need to show it to them because we can get uh, get people telling us what a piece of tat is. We should just leave it and burn it like the last one. It's nice people to uh, make comments about your furniture like that, isn't it? Yeah. Especially seeing as we're antiques restorers, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, nice, uh, nice piece. I like this one. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice one. Uh, people may be thinking, why do you need so many bookcases? Well, your book collection is uh, several, well, unsurpassed. Seven hundred books. What is it? A thousand? It's a thousand books, and you've got a library, isn't it? Or is it five hundred books? I don't know. I've never heard that. I'm going to have to before. look it up. But yeah, to constitute you having a library, I think it's five hundred books.
Oh, well, you've definitely got a library then. And for the time being, they're all going in the buyer, and that's where this is going. Sorry, into the cabin. It's bunker. Office bunker. This is a. I need to get that cabin sign off. Do you know that cabin sign will not come off? I have tried everything, crowbar, hammers, it just will not come off. And because the, the cabin is done in chain link, uh -huh. like a chainsaw chain link, I can't cut it off. I'm just going to have to smash it. I just is have to get the sledgehammer. Is it attached on the inside? No, I don't know, it's just... It must be underneath the, oh, who, underneath oh. the chain, there must be, it must be screwed in. Yeah. All of the screws around here are... OK. Well, uh, you're lucky. Because I don't want to be repetitive. Don't, don't be repetitive. No. I, I, I repeat, don't be well, repetitive. I don't like to be repetitive on the channel. So this is what we're taking down there. But you're not going to see us do it. You're going to see us do something much more interesting like... This. Checking the trail cam. No files. So we, we were told this used to be a little storehouse um, and it was built by the owner of the island's father um, quite some time ago. It's, um, it's such a sweet little building. It's a shame that it's, uh, it's on its way out, unfortunately, but to have built this, it's, it's no mean feat, is it? It's pretty cool. It's just a storage, a storage house at the minute, near the byre at the top of the island. I wonder if we can preserve it. Do you it's, think? Uh, it's just settled, hasn't it? Well, we it? haven't shown them this before, have we? I don't think we have. No, we haven't. But it is falling to bits. I mean, look at that. That's a bit of a, it's a bit of a crack, isn't it? It might be. Uh, I don't know if it's savable or not. We could maybe try and salvage it for for the owners somehow. Well, now it's just junk, isn't it? There is nothing in there apart from... It's just storage. Storage. It's just a, it's essentially a, a nice stone shed. Have a look at this as well. So there's a water course running under here. These are called uh, skunk's tail cabbage. And when, when we're coming past, it's, it, you can smell them. They're quite... It's almost like a foxy smell, like a foxy's den. But apparently, um, if you crush the leaves, there's a sort of rotting flesh smell to them. Oh, so nice. People, uh, people plant them alongside vegetable patches and things to deter deer and whatnot. But they're unusual and, and pretty beautiful, I think. I didn't know that they flowered because they, we weren't here at this time last year. They don't mess about, do they? I mean, what was it, a month ago you'd come down here? There was nothing. There was nothing. Yeah, pretty and an interesting plant. Jurassic. It's, uh, well, that's the thing about this, this part of the world. This, it, it is very temperate, so, it, you know, the climate's almost kind of New Zealandy. So we get things like, you know, there's like a wallaby pine growing here and... Oh, well, look at that behind you. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? That's a wallaby pine or not. But, yeah, we, we have lots of interesting, interesting I, things I've growing here. I've just realised there's something round here that I put here. A where, gate. Where, you and your gates. Where I did find you find gates that? everywhere. I found that in a buyer, just at the back of me. So I picked it up, saved it, and put it here because I thought it might come in handy. I mean, that would come in handy. I think, in fact, I might take that now because that'll come in handy for like the sheep rather than the big massive one that we're using at the moment. Yeah, that that's would a do. lot lighter and 
easy to manoeuvre, so... Right, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. What? I'm going to crush this and see what it's like. Sorry, I'm dancing rings around you. It, just sm it doesn't smell like rot rotting flesh. It smells like fox den. And o a mild fox den as well, not as bad as fox den. But I suppose that's why, if it does smell like that, that'll be why it keeps the deer off. Because they think it's a oh, fox's yeah, lair. They're not going to eat it, are they? Because I didn't really think about that, because the deer eat anything, but obviously not this. <clears throat> well, maybe you should plant some of it around your new plants. Yeah, I might, might, might deter them. Although I'm thinking I'm just going to put hoop cloches over everything. That's almost time for planting out. And these are primroses. One of you mentioned them. They're, um, they're past the season a wee bit now, but um, you can eat the petals. Uh, they're, they're nice and salads. Uh, well, that's got rat on it. Quite sweet. Well, rather you than me. We spent the last 10 minutes filming like the best end piece that we've ever done. Like the best jokes. It was, the, it was the greatest end piece in the world. What was it, 10 minutes? Guess what happened? It's microphones. The microphones and the camera. We've told you before the, the situation. There's a communication error going on between the, the microphones and the camera. And this is the reason why we really need to get the... Because we've also got this constant flashing in and out. And the camera decided that this was the time that it was going to do its random thing again. So what happens is you'll get us talking and all the sound is all the way through it. And we can't figure out what it is. We've 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 looked. But it's just... It, it... Well, it's going to be resolved very, very soon. But you're not getting an end chat this time. This is the end chat. Yeah, you know what it's like? It just kills all spontaneity. We, we, well, we can talk about that. Everything you see is one take. And because of me, I'm a, I, I, I will not reshoot, will I? I refuse to reshoot. So if something like this happens, we just don't do it again. Because we kind of want this to be, you know, spontaneous. It's not planned. Yeah, the, the things we do are planned. We're going to do that today, and we're going to do this today, and we're going to film it. The banter is never, no. never planned, and never. we don't we don't try things again. There's nothing contrived, and there's no sort of presenteriness. That if that's a word that I just made up. Yeah, presenteriness. Presenteriness. There's no presenteriness to it. Um, <laughs> laugh at me. It's a new word. I'm boiling to death in this kitchen. It's a bit. Over dramatic. Do you know what I need to do? Well, we yeah, we can't. We 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 gave you a, a huge amount of information about what's happening and what's not happening, but we just can't go over it again. We'll we'll do it on the next one. On Cover. to the next. Yeah, because I've I've got to get out of here and finish this episode because <laughs> we're filming this Wednesday morning at half past twelve. No, half past eleven. Yeah. This has got to be on by seven. seven. I'd better crack on, haven't I? I'll sit here and drink my tea. <laughs>